inventor of the Bedbug Bio Blaster, Ozone Machines, and Bedbug Destruct System. And today we're doing our first test live at the Coral Gables Apartments here in Houston, Texas. The owner recently acquired this property, and what he discovered is that 18 of the units were absolutely infested with bed bugs. So he did a lot of research, he looked all over, and he found that none of the systems that are out there actually function to permanently eliminate bed bugs until he found me. So he's decided to do all of his 18 units using our unique patented process to completely eliminate the bed bugs once and for all. We're going to take you and walk you through an actual on site demonstration with live bed bugs. I am the inventor of the bed bug blaster, and today we're in, at the Coral Gables Apartments in Houston, Texas, where 18 individual units are completely infested with bed bugs. Today we're going to do a live demonstration of our unique patent pending system and our unique patent pending process that's guaranteed to eliminate 100% of the bed bugs in one treatment, not four like the rest of the guys. So today the entire system is contained in this awesome carrying case. It easily rolls for portability, it's easy for your workers to use. It has a key, it locks itself uh, so that prying hands can't easily remove it. And inside we've got a thermal fogger, we've got respirator, can of adhesive spray. We've got a little bit of plastic to make our positive pressure uh, doorway. We've got the ozone rated duct hose. We've got the bed bug blaster mini. got our essential oil inhibitor X formula that's guaranteed to destroy the eggs in under a minute. Folks, every single ingredient in this bottle is on the EPA 25B exception list. That means it's an organic green essential oil, completely safe and safe enough to drink. So we're going to go ahead and get started with this project and we'll show you step by step how you do a live bed bug killing using our unique pen. The first part of our system, folks, involves the use of a carbon dioxide generator or several carbon dioxide generators. So this is a two-story unit. We're going to put one on the first floor and one on the second floor. And this machine produces actual carbon dioxide just like we do when we exhale. The bed bugs are attracted to the carbon dioxide and it's literally going to draw them out of the woodwork so that they are targets for our next step, which is the high intensity pressurization with ozone gas. We're just going to turn this on and it's now making carbon dioxide gas. The upstairs also has an open floor plan, so we're going to take and hang this carbon dioxide generator here in the central area and it's going to literally make massive amounts of carbon dioxide again drawing the bed bugs out from hiding before their treatment. Alright folks what we're going to do now is we're going to set up the positive pressurization of the structure. So we've chosen to use the secondary doorway on this unit and the reason is to allow ingress and egress from the primary man door. This unit is an up and down or over under unit, so we're not going to be putting both machines in pressurization mode. What we're going to do is we're going to set this unit on the inside upstairs to generate massive ozone on the second floor. And then we're going to pressurize the entire structure using the much larger machine that produces 56,000 milligrams an hour. That's going to put a total of 120 grams an hour into this structure. In about three hours when we finish the process, nothing that's living in that uh, apartment will be living anymore. So what we're going to do is we're going to take real simply our spray adhesive and we're going to go ahead and spray the doorway at the top so that we can put the plastic on. Now when I'm making doorways, folks, I almost always use standard three foot width rolls. That, re that, that way you require very little cutting. We've already applied the spray adhesive to the top edge 
And we're just going to add a little bit more. And that'll allow us to firmly attach this in place. That'll hold it as a temporary hold till we get the tape on. Okay, when we're making a, a, an airlock doorway, it's important to use a triple sealed seam. So that means placing the first piece and dividing the edge. And then what you're going to do is take your second piece and divide that first piece in half. This is a special high strength tape designed for hanging plastic. And we're going to take the second piece of tape and we're going to go halfway over the other side. That, for, that allows us to form a genuine, true airlock uh, type seal. So we're going to go ahead and finish this doorway up, and then we'll be back in a few we've seconds. We've tacked it in place. We've got a triple sealed seam on the top. We've got one seam down each side. So remember, you go halfway down the first seam. Halfway down the other side. And that allows you to create a true airlock. We're going to do the same thing on this side. Next thing that we're going to do, folks, is we're going to go ahead and cut the hole to allow the duct hose to go through the doorway. And we're just going to take and make a small X. Like this. and go ahead and insert the hose. Through the hole. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna tape this up real well. I like to seal both the outside and the inside of the duct hose to make sure that we get a good tight seal so we can positively pressurize the structure. It's by positively forcing that ozone gas into the cracks that really gives this system an edge over all other methods of structural fumigation. So we're going to go ahead and seal that up. So in this unit, folks, we've decided to place the smaller of the bed bug bioblaster machines directly into the second floor. Rather than uh, pressurizing it, this whole unit is capable of being pressurized from the downstairs by the larger machine. So we're going to set this machine up on the second floor, let it fill this whole floor up with massive amounts of ozone, which will then go downstairs because it's heavier than air, but because of the positive pressurization, it's guaranteed to flood into all of the cracks crevices and tiny little hidden areas. So this is the all you need to do and to turn it on and you just simply press the switch, voila, massive amounts of ozone. So we now have our doorway built. We've got it triple sealed connected inside and outside. And now we're going to take the duct hose and we're going to connect it to the bed bug machine itself. And it's real simple to do. You just get it around this lip you pull, tie the cords together tightly like this. I like to make a bow so it'll come off. And then we go over that with another one of our famous triple sealed seams all the way around the unit to give it an air lock. And in a few minutes we'll come back, we'll positively pressurize this structure. We're gonna let this run for about three hours. And when we're finished, everything inside that was alive will be dead, including all of the bed bugs. And after that, we'll go back and use our uh, essential oil-based bed bug inhibitor that's guaranteed to destroy the egg. Yes, I'm the inventor of the bed bug bioblaster machine, and today we're going to show you the second half of our system. Yesterday, we gassed this apartment out using the pressurized ozone machines for about three hours, filling and infiltrating every tiny little nook crevice and cranny in the apartment where the bed bugs can hide. What we're going to do now is apply the second half of the system, which is an essential oil-based bed bug inhibitor. Folks, what's in here, our bed bug formula X, is the only product on the market that we have actual laboratory data to back up. It kills bed bug eggs in under a minute, and they stay dead when all of the controls hatched at 7, 
14 and even 21 days later. So what we're going to do today is we're going to have Matt go around and apply the product, pay, paying special care and attention to the cracks, the crevices, and the little tiny places where the bed bug hides. This product is safe enough to drink. The reason Matt's wearing a respirator is it's never a good thing to breathe in deep vapors. So we're going to let him go ahead and go to work, and we're going to move forward. Okay, folks, we've completed our treatment of this unit. We've positively pressurized it. We've applied the essential oil based bed bug inhibitor. And now we're going to just take and wrap up. This process is so simple, it just takes a few minutes of your time. Go ahead and remove the doorway, remove the tape. And in a few minutes, we'll come back and show you how it all fits back in our box. All right. We're going to put in the first the large machine. Then we're going to put in the smaller machine. The large duct hose. The small duct hose. The rest of our bed bug formula X. The respirator. And the thermal fogger. And this will all close right back up nicely. Voila. Bed bugs eradicated. Total time, three hours. Now that we've completely finished this bed bug eradication project, the last thing to do if you're going to be doing this professionally on someone else's house is to get rid of the little bit of an adhesive spray that you put on the outside of the door. We found that Goof Off works best for this. You just take a small amount of Goof Off, put it on the rag, begin to wipe it down, it'll pull the rest of that adhesive right off, and you leave your homeowner with a nice, clean door. I'm the inventor. Buy one today.